popped to Home Bargains to get Natalie some medication because, you know, we're cheap like that. And I've come back with a, a haul. Obviously, I can't go to Home Bargains without spending £30. It's some kind of pre-programmed thing within me. I don't know. I don't know quite why it is, but I don't think I've ever left Home Bargains without spending £30. And sure enough, today's bill came to £29.15. £29.15. So I thought I would show you what we got. And it's the usual peculiar razzmatazz of stuff. So first, I'm going to try and do it off the receipt in order. Kids, if you can hear the kids having a row in the background, it's because they love each other very much. Are you right there, kids? Yeah. Anybody dying? Jolly good. Just thought, you know. <laughs> they love each other very, very much. We're a very close family and they would die for each other quite happily. Yeah, yeah, we'll die. For each other. Oh, right. For each other, not at the hand of each other. <laughs> okay, so first up, I bought a glue gun. And Natalie said, what are you going to glue? And I said, things that need gluing. And she was like, yeah, but what do you want to glue? And I said, I don't actually know. But I do know there's been several occasions in the last several weeks where Anthony has either said to me, oh, I've thought to myself, I wish I had a glue gun. Used to have one, don't know what happened to it. So glue gun in Home Bargains was the massive sum of £2.49 £2 for a mini, mini glue gum. It does come with two sticks, but I bought more sticks as well, so we'll come to them in a minute. So, and then Anthony said, we need to sort, sort out the lid of the recycling box, and I immediately said, I've just bought a glue gun. So they go, we are going to be winning at life from now on. Yes. Next on the receipt is the Surf Coconut washing capsules. I really like these. I only tried these for the first time a couple of I love the smell of coconut. And I only tried them a couple of weeks ago for the first time. And I really, really like them. In Home Bargains, they are two ninety nine for a pack of 20. I think they were a similar price in B&M the other day, actually. But yeah, for a pack of 20. So two ninety nine, three £3 for 20. That's £1. Pound for, that's 15p a wash. 15p a wash isn't bad, is it? I do use... Um, when I think about it, I always use softener as well. If they'd bring out a coconut softener, that would be great. Coconut softener would be nice. Funnily enough, it says Coconut Bliss. This fragrance contains sweet and warm notes of vanilla, amber and musk for the ultimate beach fragrance. So it doesn't contain any smell of coconut. And yet they've called it Coconut Bliss. They do smell like coconut. I don't know. I don't know why they, why they mentioned that. But maybe they meant all those things as well as coconut. Two ninety nine for 20 washes. Next on the receipt is Anthony's Milk. Cravendale Milk stays fresher for longer because he um, doesn't get through it very quickly in the van. So that was pound eighty-five. your milk. Stays fresher for longer. You'd bloody want it to at that price, wouldn't you? For that price, I want it to be cheese. Now, hang on, that's not fresh milk, is it? Oh, well. Uh, monkey nuts. I bought these for the squirrels. There are a load of squirrels over the park, and I like watching them at the office window. And recently, I've watched them looking a bit sort of skinnier and foraging a bit so we're going to chuck i'm going to chuck some of these on top of anthony's workshop roof he doesn't know yet but i am and then i can watch the squirrels coming to find them last year they went frantic for them so they were only 79 pence for a bag of monkey nuts roasted peanuts in their shells they're for the squirrels and then i bought meringue nests buddy's just down there watching me he's like who are you talking to these have actually started to leak bits of meringue all over the place. There's me picking it up on my finger and licking it. I could have turned out to be washing powder, couldn't it? But it was meringue. <laughs> um, little bits, little bits of meringue everywhere. They, these are for my mum's eaten mess for Christmas Day, and I'm going to learn from last year's mistakes. I thought we clever last year, and I made the eaten mess in advance. Not, not like weeks in advance, not in August, but I made it before I served up the Christmas dinner and put it in the fridge. What a knobhead! You can't make eaten mess in advance. By the time we came to eat it, it was eaten soup. The meringue had all melted into the whipped cream and, and dissolved the whipped cream back down again. And it was basically an eaten slub. Eaten slush. Eat, eaten soup is the best way I can describe it. A strawberry and cream kind of soupy mess. So you can't make it in advance. And I've learnt from that and I won't make that mistake this year. The meringue nests are 99p, I think. Yeah, 99p. That's not bad, is it, for eight meringue nests? I can always sit and eat the ones I don't use. Uh, next up is a box of Maltesers. There's several Malteser related goodies here. They were 199. I feel like they've gone up. I feel like Maltesers used to be cheaper than that. They were 199. These are for part of somebody's Christmas present from Anthony. Um, a very, very glamorous bottle of sink and drain unblocker gel. I've got one of those things in the sink that catches all the bits. 
and it catches them too well and we get frustrated so we take it out and put it on the draining board and then all the bits go down the sink and then I realise that I've made a stupid mistake. So our sink is constantly a little bit, constantly a little bit clogged up. This is just the cheapest sink and drain and blocker they do. I think it's 79p or something, but it'll do the job and it'll also go down the bath and the and the well mainly the bath plug hole is where the hair goes obviously from the shower so 79 pence for that it's all glam it's all glamorous stuff two packs of potatoes potato two packs of potatoes these are for our christmas dinner and i know they're baking potatoes and i know baking potatoes don't make the most best roasties but all of the other potatoes in the shop were teeny tiny like the size of new potatoes and i'm not seeing peeling anything that small to make roasties so we'll have these ones and I'll make the roasties out of these. There's a scrappy noise behind me, it's the dogs fighting over a toy. You've stolen her toy. I bought two of these interior dehumidifiers. There's cows on in the background and every now and again they get a bit louder. They start bellowing over the top. Two of these interior dehumidifiers. How's that for, for a thumbnail? Um, these are for Anthony as well. Look, an in interior dehumidifiers, aren't you excited? Yes. It's a good. little bit damp in the van, isn't it, our kid? Only where I've got bottles of water. Only where he's got bottles of water. Open up. So yeah, I picked up two. They're only 79 pence each, and they did have quite a lot if you want more. They also oh. had they had three flavours. They had lavender, what a flavour, scent, aroma, fragrance. Lavender, vanilla, and cherry. I got in vanilla. Just that seemed the least offensive idea. I don't like lavender much. I'm not gonna be in the van, I don't know why I care. Next up is the stuffing, which I don't... Oh, there it is. There's the stuffing. Nice bit of stuffing for Christmas Day. Will be mixed with sausage meat. Natalie's locating the sausage meat, which we are sure is in the freezer. So that's uh, Christmas Day stuffing. The pack is 99p in home bargains. I don't know how much it is anywhere else. Um, Natalie wanted a couple of these. These are Dolmio Carbonara sauce. They're just one portion. And they're really simple for her if she's if she's just nipping in quickly from work or whatever. You just literally add them to pasta. You don't even have to add anything else. And they're microwavable as well. So she doesn't like the pasta that they do, but she doesn't mind the sauces. So, so yeah, 99 pence each for those. They'll do her a lunch one day. Anthony stood between me and the window if you're wondering why the light's changed. Oh, Sorry, it's not a problem. It's just that suddenly I, I plunged into darkness. Oh, 59p bought me a packet of additional glue sticks to go with my glue gun. So 249 for the gun, 59p for spare sticks. That's not bad, is it? I'm going gluing everybody, gluing everybody down. I lashed out and bought the expensive bin bags. These are 299, but they are 50 and they are heavy duty. And I know we're trying to use less plus plastic, but this is my theory. If I buy the thin, cheap bin bags and they rip, I end up double bagging. So then I've used twice as much plastic. Or the same amount of plastic as if I was if, if I bought a thicker one in the first place or something. So fifty bin line is two ninety nine. Bod. Uh, next on the receipt, if, if, when we go through it all, if there's anything left, we'll know I've stolen something this time, won't we? Uh, next on the receipt is the cheese sauce, Coleman's cheddar cheese sauce. That is only forty nine pence. Coleman's have changed their packaging. I didn't recognise it at first, but yeah, it was only forty nine pence, and that's for cauliflower cheese for Christmas Day because they like it. I think it's vile. I don't mind cauliflower, I don't mind cheese sauce, but I don't like cauliflower cheese. You like it, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah there'll be a little fight over that Christmas day to see who gets the most. I think one year I made them individual ones. No, we're not going to have this year, so... <laughs> You're going to have individual ones this year so you don't fight. It's just easier. <laughs> Block of butter, again, nothing very exciting about that, but it is one twenty nine, which is cheaper than most other places. I think even Tesco is about £1.50 at the moment for actual butter. So one twenty nine for butter in home bargains. Some more Maltesery bits. A buttons bucket. This was expensive. This was two ninety nine, and I got a feeling these are cheaper elsewhere. So not everything is cheaper in your home bargains, but for convenience when you're there anyway. Are you going to sit and eat your sandwich live on the internet? Well, not live, but on the internet. Okay, Natalie's just appeared in the background with a sandwich and a molly. Maltesers bucket two ninety nine, and the Maltesers teasers. So that'll make up the other part of that present. They were 99p, so there's a little teasers related gift for a friend. There's bits of meringue everywhere. 
the next thing is my Reese's, but we might be nearly done. My Reese's pieces. I did not need further stock of Reese's goodies. I have been stocked up so well by the reselling and YouTube community recently for sending me gifts. But I saw these and did, couldn't resist. They haven't got any of the Reese's trees at the moment. I'm very disappointing. They've had a very short stock of those this Christmas. So I got myself some Reese's pieces. The last two items, only one of which appears to be here. Oh no, there's the other one. A Harry Potter birthday card from my friend Tina, whose birthday is at the beginning of January. So um, I realise this is a child's birthday card, but she won't care. She likes Harry Potter. That was 79p. That's really good, isn't it? For, I mean, that's a Hallmark card. Uh, it says, simply for you by Hallmark. So a Hallmark card, 79p. Genuine Harry Potter licensed card, 79p. I think that's great. I'm easily pleased. And finally, a lint roller. I buy millions of these things. I buy them all the damn time and yeah I can never find one I want one so this is the going to be the downstairs by the front door lint roller um and that will be a completely different lint roller to the upstairs lost forever don't know where the hell I've put it lint roller and that was 59p and that's it it's a small haul it's not very glamorous it's not an exciting Christmas haul it's mostly food as usual we didn't pop it we popped in literally to get out some medication she got her medication and I spent 30 quid on stuff I didn't know I wanted as usual but um but yeah thank you for watching i hope you've enjoyed it i hope you've enjoyed the edifying sight of natalie in her lunch in the background give them a wave <laughs> and i will be back soon with, with more of this remember to hit the like button remember to comment if you've got anything to say and subscribe and hit the bell and then you'll get a notification when i do more of whatever this is thanks for watching see you soon Bye bye